Hello planner friends. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new here, hello, my name is Cassie and I share planner related videos on my channel here. Today I will be doing a haul video. Um, what you see here is just part of what will be shown in this video. I am filming my hauls in segments and so right now this is all the happy mail that I have um, but I do a few more orders that are coming in so I will be including those in this haul. I'm really excited because this is my first fall haul of the season. Um, I have most of the things in here are very fall related, uh, fall and Halloween. So really excited to share these with you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just dive in. All right. So the first shop I'm going to go into here is Panda Bird Design. This was my first order I think that I received in this haul that I'm going over. So I figured I'd start with this one. Um, it also seems a little bit more springy with this. Um, I believe what I have inside of here is not season specific, but I figured I would start with this one. Um, so let me just get this package opened here. Love this, um, like card. It's like a card stock that's folded in half in here, folded in half in here. And I really love it. It's so pretty. Oh no, this one isn't folded in half. I'm sorry. That was the other one that I had. This one is just a regular, um, like a thank you card, but so pretty. I really love this. Um, this is just, you could put this in a frame and it's gorgeous. So love this. It's kind of similar. So the last one, um, this is the one I was thinking of. This one was in the last order and this one was folded in half. I really love these florals. So, so beautiful. So this one's just kind of hanging out on my desk. This one will go with it. <laughs> um, so this was, um, part of my gathered layers order. Um, this was not the most recent release, but, um, I think the one before that, so um, this is the collab. Let me just turn my other light on here. This is the collab with Rachel from Gathered Plans and Panda Bird Design. Um, they keep coming out with just so much goodness. And so this is, every time they do, I just order so much. Um, so here is my next large order from them. So this here is the um, freebie. I put Rachel's name in the, in the, um, the code whatever I'm trying to say, the PR code. <laughs> um, this is Rachel's freebie. It's on like a really pretty light pink um, premium matte paper, super cute. And then this is just an all orders freebie. So stinking cute, love all the little um, scripts and then some of her little icons, look at that little planner. That looks like my cloth and paper planner, so pretty. And those little balloons, some little pen, so cute. All right, so this um, order was um, all of their like date covers and um, like floral, yeah, floral date covers and some of the garland headers. So, um, I'll just dive right into these here. So the garland florals, these, um, I think I just got them in transparent matte. Some of them I did in premium matte. I don't really know what the rhyme or reason was for me with this, but I did do some in each. So these ones are on transparent matte. It looks like I did two of each of these, um, mainly because you only get one week on a sheet. So I wanted more than one week of these. I really loved the garlands. I just think they're so fancy and pretty and just add a lot of elegance to your spread. Um, and I loved like the florals peeking out. What I really love with the transparent mat is you could stick some floral um, deco stickers behind it and add some color to match whatever spread you're doing with these. So really loved this um, idea. Jess and Rachel did a really good job of sharing um, like how they were using them and it was so beautiful. They sold me. <laughs> Um, not that I wasn't sold before, but I really was like, I need this. Wow, look at that foil. Um, so I did get two in silver and then I got two in rose gold. And her rose gold does lean a little bit more pink. It's not like a coppery rose gold. It is more of a pink rose gold. I just love rose gold. I don't really know that I have a preference for pink or coppery. I like when it's kind of a good mix of the two. And then I did get the light gold. I'm not a huge um, yellow gold fan, so I did just do light gold. I did not do the traditional gold in this one. And then, yeah, I did get these ones in premium matte, and I did two of each of those as well. All right. Um, I think with these ones, my plan is to layer some like transparent florals over it. So kind of like switching it up a little bit. And then there's the rose gold again, and the light gold. And then I did just get like kind of the simple lace ones. I really love their lace and I think it'd be pretty to stick some of the florals in here and not have it be like so much floral. Um, so I did just get one of each of those. It looks like one of each in transparent and then one of each in the premium matte as well. I don't think these are still in the shop, but I know some of the Gather Layers collection does stay in the shop. I'm not sure if these are in there or not. 
um, definitely worth checking out. They do have a plaid collection. I think that may still be up, at least the time that I'm filming this. It might not be by the time this um, haul actually makes it to YouTube, but um, what's today? September 10th. So um, depending on when this actually goes live on YouTube, um, hopefully within the next week here, depending on when my other um, items get here, it might be a couple of weeks. I think some things haven't even shipped yet. So um, they may or may not be in there, but just um, I'm sure they'll come out with something else. So make sure you check it out. Um, now these, I kind of went crazy with the washi strips with the date covers and then just the regular ones. So that's the majority of this part of the haul for Panda Bird. Um, so this one here, I have really loved these dividers. Let me see if I can bring this up and you can see the detail. Um, I do have the dividers of these and I just think that they're so stunning. It is like a nice contour cut. So it's cut, you know, it's not just a rectangle. Um, really, really pretty. So I'm excited to pull these in. I feel like these will be really pretty, especially the silver. I can see using this in winter a lot. Um, so really, really beautiful. And then I did get it in the rose gold as well and light gold. Oh, that's like such a beautiful like champagne light gold. I don't know. I love the ivory light gold. I know some people really love the yellow gold. I just, this is my jam. This one, I am obsessed. I just, it's just so beautiful. I love the thin line under the florals with a garland underneath it. It's like dainty and pretty and just so beautiful. I really love that. Clearly I loved it because I bought it. I bought two of each, two of each foil color. That is the rose gold. And then that silver. Oh, so beautiful. All right. And then now we're into like the date cover strips instead of just the individual. So these were like individual scallops. These are actual strips. So they would go over your columns and your planner. Um, so, yeah, I, mean, I guess you could cut them, but they look really pretty all just together. These are the ones that I saw them kind of layering the florals with underneath with the transparent mat. And they were so beautiful. But I just, I love the florals of this. I have so much spring and summer um, memory planning to catch up on. So super excited to throw some of these in there and just change up my date cover area. It's one area that I've kind of just been doing the same things over and over. So I'm really excited to do something different. And then this one, oh, look at all the glam. It's just so elegant and glamorous. Um, you've got all of the beautiful droopy garlands um, with the lace, just stunning. Really love that. Again, clearly love that because I got it in, got it in um, each color, two in each color. And then there's the silver. And then is this? Oh, this is a little bit different. Okay, so this is like the scallop. It's the garland with like the doily. This is the garland with the lace. If you can see the difference behind these here. I was like, those look so same, so similar. Okay, so that's the difference in those. And these, I also got two of each. I think I get like scared they're not going to bring them back and then I'm going to love it so much in one spread that I need it for another spread. So with these, since each sheet is only really going to give you one spread, I definitely picked up two so that I could use it in two different spreads. Um, these, again, I feel like will be really pretty for like holidays and like New Year's Eve or something, you know, New Year's spreads. And these ones, I love the little doily in between. I just think it's so cute. So you've got the same florals um, that were on these ones, but without the garlands. So same kind of florals peeking out behind there. And then you've got the little doily in the background joining them together. So beautiful. And these ones, I just did one of each. And then this one was so cute. <laughs> these, I actually got this one on premium mat as well. Um, really loved the florals coming up in between here so pretty so you could add you know colored florals coming up behind and then you've got the foiled florals there but how beautiful is that just looks like a meadow to me really pretty so those ones i did one in each on the premium mat and then i did get them in the transparent mat as well i got two of each wow this must have been my favorite one when i ordered these because i now have three of each of them so pretty though I am not mad at all that I bought basically three of each of these. So, so pretty. All right, and then back to the beginning with the other ones. So that is everything for my Panda Bird Designs order. Um, like I said, definitely go check out the shop. I'm not sure exactly when this video will go live, but 
Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, it's allergy season again, like fall allergies are in full swing all of a sudden. So my voice keeps wanting to go out, so I apologize. Um, what I was saying is I think that um, they are still, the plaid collection may still be in the shop. I'm not sure if when this video goes live again, if that'll be up there, but um, definitely check that out. Make sure you use um, somebody's code. I know I use Rachel's code. Um, Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan, I know she has a code. Um, it's Lauren15. And Sharice from Plan with Cherry Ann, I think hers is Sharice15. Um, and they all have freebies. So um, I believe they're all listed on Pan and Bird Designs Instagram. So if you want to check out the different freebies and see whose code you want to use, um, definitely make sure to check that out. But um, if you're not following Pan and Bird Design or Rachel from Gathered Plans, um, definitely make sure you give them a follow. They're always coming out with so many good things. So you do not want to miss out on that. Make sure you're following them so you can get the latest updates. Next shop I'm going to go over here is Sadie Stickers. I do actually have a couple orders from Sadie Stickers. This is the first of two orders that I have, which is shocking that right now I only have two Sadie Stickers orders because if you've watched my hauls, you know that I generally have quite a bit. Um, I've really been trying to um, be more budget conscious and not overbuy, so I've been a little bit more specific. So I'm going to share with you, um, you know, kind of what my thoughts were with my two dollar Tuesdays. Um, I'm going to share this kit first because some of the two dollar Tuesday kind of goes with this, so I want to be able to pull this out. Um, so this is going to be my Halloween kit. Really love this. Um, it's very neutral, and I tend to not do a whole lot of neutral kits. Um, but I just loved this artwork, loved the florals, everything about this. It was like spooky, but not super spooky. So I um, had to pick this one up when I saw it. Um, the quote box says, there is something haunting in the light of the moon. Really pretty. And it's called haunting. Um, so you have this cute little tutu. I'm not sure what's supposed to be dripping off of there. I don't know if that's supposed to be blood because that's a little freaky if it is. But um, we're going to go with it's not blood. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But it's super cute and kind of like adds a little bit of a glam element. Um, I love how she foiled the florals. It's like a floral or like a foil outline. I love that so much. It almost looks like ice, you know, like it's kind of like icy. And this little haunted house up here. Super cute with the bats. I'm not quite sure what that is on the ground there. I don't know, but it's cute. Um, and then the spooky branches, which you'll see in my Tuesday. Tuesday. This chandelier is so pretty. I think it might have been Letters to Apollo that did some chandeliers. Maybe Sadie Stickers did. I didn't pick any up and I'm kind of sad that I didn't, but I did get some little spiders and cobwebs. So those will be making their entrance into this as well. Um, this cute little scene here with the cat, really adorable and more spooky branches. The fireplace with the cobwebs, even the florals like are a little bit spooky to me and I love that. It just goes with the vibe so well. So that is our full boxes page. You do also get some quarter boxes on the bottom here. They are just like a regular quarter box with a tiny bit of foil on them, which is nice. It's not overpowering. And then page two, her boxes page, always so good. I really love um, her format with her boxes. You only get three half boxes, which is perfect. I don't generally want more than three um, when I'm doing a kit. So I love that. I, that's not wasteful. And then you've got these ones with like the little notched corner. This one is a scallop box. I'm not sure if you can see that. It does have like a scalloped edge on the bottom. And then this one has almost like a scalloped edge there because it's not quite notched. I don't know, maybe you can consider it notched. And then you've got three more just regular rectangular um, half, what are these, third boxes? These aren't third. Yeah, these are third boxes, right? Um, and then these little quarter boxes here, again, some of these are notched. Um, you can kind of see they're notched or scalloped, and this is a scalloped on the bottom. And then you've got your um, rectangular midi boxes. These are some of my favorites. And then so many good square boxes. I really love these as well. And this one, if you can see, that one is also notched, and so is this one. Super cute. Um, I love, love, love her boxes page. I just think it's one of my favorite box page formats, <laughs> if that's how you want to call it. Um, and then page three, we do have our headers down the side here. I really love these like simple line headers. Um, this is gorgeous again. And then this kind of is like an, like an alcohol ink kind of look, which I really love. Um, you've got a couple um, habit tracker boxes, some smaller ones, some page flags, and then these kind of little like layering piece boxes. I really like these as well. Um, and then you've got some foil layering pieces and some checklists really pretty and then you guys this bottom washi this was part of what sold me on this kit but like look at that with that foil 
It's so gorgeous. I love the like cobwebs. They almost look like lace. So I love that. I love that it's kind of like a glam cobweb. <laughs> if you can call it a glam cobweb. Um, I love these skinny line dividers. I do wish that there were more of these in her kits. Maybe I should message her and tell her that. Um, I really love these skinny line ones. I feel like anybody's hauls that I've watched, they all love these or plan with me's. People really love these. So um, maybe Alicia would consider bringing more of those. I do like the scallop ones too, but I love these skinny ones. Maybe we could like replace one of these sets with some skinny ones. What do you think, Alicia? Let me know if you happen to be watching, if we could replace those. Um, I just love these. I would even buy like an add-on sheet of those because I think they're so beautiful. Um, the date covers, again, kind of simple, which is perfect for um, adding any kind of deco or anything you want. Um, and then we do have this other like half box here that's just got some of like the design on it, really pretty. And then you've got another um, third box here with some cobwebs and some other quarter boxes as well. And then I did pick up the, I don't know if this is, I think this is a journaling sheet. I think that's what it would be considered. Um, just in regular premium matte, we've got some more deco. I loved the bats, the chandelier, the torn paper, just really good. Lots of little like layering elements here. And these are really beautiful as well. I'm not quite sure how to use these exactly because I don't really want to like layer much over them. Um, but I think they're really pretty. So I want to find some way to use them. And then I did pick up just two of these. Um, they're a little bit challenging in my mind so far because obviously I haven't tried this yet. But these floral bouquets are very different um, with kind of like the spiky fern like florals. So um, definitely will be interesting to see how I'm going to use those in this spread. So excited to try something different. Um, but I did only pick up two because I wasn't quite sure how many to end up using, um, especially because I have a lot of other deco that I purchased to go with this. Um, so I thought, you know, if the florals become maybe too difficult to try to use in there, maybe I don't use as many. And then I just pull in some more of like those spooky branches and spiders and bats. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what I come up with with that one. Um, next part of the same order here. So this was part of the $2 Tuesday. Um, and yeah, this was all $2 Tuesday. So these alcohol ink ones were part of that. I loved that she actually left these up in the shop. Um, I think this was the first time she tried that maybe where she left like the $2 Tuesday in with the new releases. So I was able to get it all in one order, which was really nice. Um, I don't know if she'll continue to do that because I don't know if logistically that's something that is like functional for her, but she did do that a couple times and it was so nice. Um, so I picked up these black alcohol ink, like I guess they're called black watercolor. Um, but I thought they really matched the background of these boxes well. And I just love pulling in these kind of things to my spread anyway. So um, I know Rose Colored Days has a bunch. She, I think she just did it to our Tuesday recently maybe. Um, so I definitely want to go check those out as well and kind of see what other spreads I might want to pull some of these in. Oftentimes I'm looking for something to kind of layer behind an icon or... Um, I don't know, a checklist or something. And I feel like having a little pop of color is nice without it being overpowering. And these transparent ones are really great for that. So um, definitely had to pick up the black to go with this kit. And then um, you know, hopefully I'll get some from those colored days in the future for other kits. Um, this is the freebie that I got. I did put in the notes um, to get Lauren's freebie, Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan. I love all of these. I actually have full sheets of these and these are some of my favorites. Um, she's got some little butterflies, some of the dot clusters, these bows, which are great for adding to like white or stationary icons, and then two different kinds of headers, like such a functional um, freebie. I really love this. So um, Lauren, thanks for having a great freebie. There's a ton of really great freebies from Sadie Stickers um, from her PR team. So if you, um, I'm not sure if she has them listed on her um, Instagram or not, but um, definitely check them out. I feel like Pokemon Go, like I'm trying to collect them all. I think somebody said that one time and I was like, that's such a perfect analogy um, because I do feel like I'm like constantly trying to get everybody. So this one, I got Lauren's. You'll see another ones. I think I've switched it up and got different ones as well. Um, so this is the other part of the $2 Tuesday section. Um, the branch wreaths, thought these were kind of cool for fall, almost wintery a little bit too. I got these ones in premium mat because um, I thought I might want to use them as like an actual box to write something in. And um, transparent matte, I don't know, just didn't seem quite appropriate for what I think I'm going to use them for. 
So um, again, with Sadie stickers, um, this is her this is her gold. So on premium matte, it definitely shows up. Um, I don't know if I actually have any other gold in here to show you. It shows up a little bit more like the champagne kind of gold on here, which is my preference. Um, I love this. This is showing up pretty true to color here. Um, on the transparent matte, it does tend to be a little bit more, looks a little bit more like a yellowy gold. So that's um, the branch wreaths in all three colors. And then these are cute little Halloween dividers. I thought these bats were so cute and they kind of have like that glam look with that that kind of goes with the kit. So I did get this one just in silver because I knew that the Halloween kit I got was only in silver. This is me being budget conscious and not going crazy. Um, I used to just buy everything in all three foil colors, but I've realized that with a lot of the seasonal stuff, that's kind of silly because if I don't have a kit to go with it, then I'm hanging on to it till the next year. And who knows if I'm going to have a kit that year. And there's always something that's coming out. So there's no point in overbuying now when I might not use it. So um, that's my new mindset. So here I am with mainly silver and black in this one. Um, so this is the hanging spider webs. These do match the bottom washi. I think I got this in both. So if you see, this is the same spider web. Yeah, I did get it in the silver too, because I really love that they match and I wanted to bring in both. So I got it in black and in silver. And then the spider web abstract corners, again, these match the kit. Um, let me pull the boxes out, if I can pull them back out. I just messed it all up. So um, you can see some of these spider webs in here are some of like the abstract ones. So I got those to match the kit as well in black and silver. And then I got black in the corners. These are a little bit more like formed and perfect looking. So I got those in case I wanna like, you know, add it to a box or something. Um, and then spider web frames, again, black and silver. And then the little mini halves. Thought these were super cute as well. And then the little bats, it's freaking bats. <laughs> I love that. Um, so bats, I just, I think they're so cute for like Halloween. I got two of the black, I think just because bats are black and I figured I might use a lot of those. Um, and then I just got one of silver. Yeah, just one of the silver to go with this particular kit. And then I got one in black and one in silver of the flock of bats. Thought those were super cute as well. Kind of scary in real life, right? But cute in a sticker form. And then spooky trees. How fun are these? So fun. Got those in both. And then the branches. So again, these kind of match like the spooky branches that are going on in the kit. So um, wanted some deco to add in to kind of mimic that in the spread. All right, so that's everything for the first um, $2 Tuesday and um, new releases because these came out during that time. Um, so that is all for that one. I'm going to move into the second Sadie stickers order. Okay, this is the second um, $2 Tuesday order that I have from Sadie stickers. So um, I'm going to jump into these ones. So after I purchased that first order, I realized um, one of the other kits that I purchased kind of in between was from my newest addiction. Um, and I, it's another kind of like spooky-ish Halloween one. Um, and so I don't usually do my whole month of October in, um, like spooky Halloween stuff, but I really loved that kit too. And I did choose to get that one in rose gold foil. So I picked up when she did a bring back the favorites, I picked up some rose gold accents. So, um, I know I just talked about the freebies, but here's another one, a different one. This is the first time I've gotten Saskia's and I love it. Of course, it has bees in it. It's got some butterflies. It's got a whole set of dividers on the bottom. Um, so many tiny little elements like, you know, leaves and things like that. Just so stinking cute. It's very summery, very cute. Um, so this is Saskia's freebie and her code. And then this is the um, $2 Tuesday Bring Back the Favorites that I did pick up. So I got the spooky branches that I'd already picked up in silver and black. I got those in rose gold. I don't have the My Newest Addiction kit here yet to show you, but um, these are gonna match really well with that. And then I did get some pumpkin deco. I got these in all three because I feel like fall kit wise, I'll probably end up with kits in all three foil colors and pumpkins are so like neutral that um, I'll end up using them. So I did get these in all three in transparent matte. So cute. And these could be kind of fun with like, you know, that's why I want to get more of like the alcohol ink kind of things because you could cut off a little piece of like an orange one and kind of stick it behind there or stick some orange florals behind it or you know like a mustard color I don't know so many different things you could do with a transparent matte so I'm um, definitely excited to use those in my kits 
Um, and these are some foliage toppers. So a lot of times I don't end up using these like as a topper for anything, like a date topper, but they are nice to, you know, cut up smaller and use in your date cover deco area or to use it just as it is. Um, use them kind of like almost as a divider. I don't know. There's all kinds of things I feel like you can do with these, but I just thought these were so pretty. It kind of almost looks like, like a wheat. It definitely looks like a fall foliage. So um, I got these ones in all three as well because I feel like they're, again, pretty neutral and I can use them in a lot of different kits. And then these are more rose gold spider webs to match that kit that is coming. And then the hanging spiders, I think, yeah, I did these in all three as well. Um, again, could match any of the other kits. Really, I needed silver and rose gold, but I just got all three because who knows. And spiders are pretty, like, again, you'll see those again next year, right? Um, and then for um, the leaf bring back the favorites, I did get these maple leaf dividers. I think these are so pretty and so like quintessentially fall looking. So I did get these in all three. Yeah, I did these in all three as well because I just thought they were really pretty. And again, I feel like I will have fall kits probably in every color, maybe not silver, but not 100% sure. Um, actually, there is a silver one that I know Desha Sun is coming out with. Um, we've been like talking about it in our PR group and it's kind of like a fall into winter kit. Um, and so these might actually work really well with it. I've got to look, um, but I think these might work well. So um, I may actually have a silver fall kit, which is exciting. Um, so this, uh, with that being said with the leaves, um, I did get the bottom washi for the leaves as well because I just really thought they were super pretty. Um, so those are the only things that I got from the leaf bring back the favorites. And then this one, oh my gosh, you guys, I just watched um, Tay's haul and she had this in there and her reaction to that was kind of like my reaction to that, except you got to see her initial reaction. So if you haven't watched her latest haul video, go watch Tay's haul video for a really good reaction. This one's kind of towards the end of her haul, but um, I died. I was like, oh my God, that was my reaction. I pulled this out and was like, shut up. It is so gorgeous and I'm so mad that I only bought one page of this. I think she got it in premium and transparent. Um, I really hope this is still in the shop. I would totally pay full price for another one of these but this is her abstract sunflower. She had this during the $2 Tuesday. It might have been like $3 or something. It might not have been two but it was part of that sale. Maybe it was two. I don't think I have my invoice anymore to look at but um, I am obsessed. Like this abstract sunflower the sheet, first of all, the format of the sheet and the amount of things you get on it is amazing. I love that so much. Um, but the florals are just, let me bring this up here so you can see. It's almost got like a daisy-ish vibe, but it's like, you know, here's a sunflower, but it's very, I mean, it's abstract, like it says. Um, it's not so like in your face obvious, but then that kind of looks like an abstract daisy. Um, but just very like wildflower, meadowy kind of feel, but in a fall sense. Um, just absolutely stunning. I love this bouquet here. I am just obsessed. I don't have like a kit or anything that I'm planning on using this with. This was more for my prayer journal. Um, but I just love it. Oh my gosh. Alicia, please do a kit with these florals. Holy cow. Somebody do a kit with these florals. They're just gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Um, so I had to get that. Um, I definitely will have to go back and get more because I am obsessed with this whole thing. These are huge. So beautiful really love this. And then I did get some of these watercolors because these kind of are like, like that alcohol ink vibe that I was thinking. Um, I've really been enjoying bringing in watercolors. I've picked some up from Paper Trail Plans and um, who else do I have them from? Miss and Meow. Um, and I have some from Sadie Sticker. So I'm excited to have these colors. Again, these are kind of like typical fall type of colors. These are not showing up quite as green on camera as they actually are. They look more gray on camera. Um, but they're definitely more of like a sagey green and um, it's really beautiful. I really, really love this green. I'm sad that it's not coming up true to color. Um, this mustard is pretty true to color in the camera here. So um, mustard is one of my favorite colors. I love light pink and I love mustard. Not together, but I love them um, separately. So yeah, really um, excited to see what kits I can pull these in with, with my fall kits that I've got either coming or that I'm ordering. Um, so that is my second um, Sadie stickers order here. Again, kind of a smaller one because I am trying to rein it in and be better. Um, so I'm kind of proud of myself for not just going crazy because it's always easy to go crazy with her stuff. Um, but yeah, that is Sadie stickers. This is the other, um, the first order that I had as well. 
Um, and like I said, there are a lot of girls on the PR team for her. So um, check that out and make sure you put somebody's name in the um, notes to sell her so you can get somebody's freebie. Um, but yeah, really good. Okay, this is the second um, $2 Tuesday order that I have from City Stickers. So um, I'm going to jump into these ones. So after I purchased that first order, I realized um, one of the other kits that I purchased kind of in between was from my newest addiction. Um, and I, it's another kind of like spooky-ish Halloween one. Um, and so I don't usually do my whole month of October in um, like spooky Halloween stuff, but I really loved that kit too. And I did choose to get that one in rose gold foil. So I picked up, when she did a bring back the favorites, I picked up some rose gold accents. So um, I know I just talked about the freebies, but here's another one, a different one. This is the first time I've gotten Saskia's and I love it. Of course, it has bees in it. It's got some butterflies. It's got a whole set of dividers on the bottom. Um, so many tiny little elements like, you know, leaves and things like that. Just so stinking cute. It's very summery, very cute. Um, so this is Saskia's freebie and her code. And then this is the um, $2 Tuesday bring back the favorites that I did pick up. So I got the spooky branches that I'd already picked up in silver and black. I got those in rose gold. I don't have the My Newest Addiction kit here yet to show you, but um, these are gonna match really well with that. And then I did get some pumpkin deco. I got these in all three because I feel like fall kit wise, I'll probably end up with kits in all three foil colors and pumpkins are so like neutral that um, I'll end up using them. So I did get these in all three in transparent matte. So cute. And these could be kind of fun with like, you know, that's why I want to get more of like the alcohol ink kind of things because you could cut off a little piece of like an orange one and kind of stick it behind there or stick some orange florals behind it or, you know, like a mustard color. I don't know. So many different things you could do with a transparent mat. So I'm um, definitely excited to use those in my kits. Um, and these are some foliage toppers. So a lot of times I don't end up using these like as a topper for anything like a date topper but they are nice to, you know, cut up smaller and use in your date cover deco area or to use it just as it is. Um, use them kind of like almost as a divider. I don't know. There's all kinds of things I feel like you can do with these, but I just thought these were so pretty. It kind of almost looks like, like a wheat. It definitely looks like a fall foliage. So, um, I got these ones in all three as well because I feel like they're again, pretty neutral and I can use them in a lot of different kits. And then these are more rose gold spider webs to match that kit that is coming. And then the hanging spiders, I think, yeah, I did these in all three as well. Um, again, could match any of the other kits. Really, I needed silver and rose gold, but I just got all three, because who knows? And spiders are pretty, like, again, you'll see those again next year, right? Um, and then for um, the leaf, bring back the favorites. I did get these maple leaf dividers. I think these are so pretty and so, like, quintessentially fall looking. So I did get these in all three, yeah. I did these in all three as well because I just thought they were really pretty. And again, I feel like I will have fall kits probably in every color. Maybe not silver, but not 100% sure. Um, actually, there is a silver one that I know Desha Sun is coming out with. Um, we've been like talking about it in our PR group, and it's kind of like a fall into winter kit. Um, and so these might actually work really well with it. I've got to look, um, but I think these might work well. So um, I may actually have a silver fall kit, which is exciting. Um, so this, uh, with that being said, with the leaves, um, I did get the bottom washi for the leaves as well because I just really thought they were super pretty. Um, so those are the only things that I got from the leaf bring back the favorites. And then this one, oh my gosh, you guys, I just watched um, Tay's haul and she had this in there and her reaction to that was kind of like my reaction to that, except you got to see her initial reaction. So if you haven't watched her latest haul video, go watch today's haul video for a really good reaction. This one's kind of towards the end of her haul, but um, I died. I was like, oh my God, that was my reaction. I pulled this out and was like, shut up. It is so gorgeous. And I'm so mad that I only bought one page of this. I think she got it in premium and transparent. Um, I really hope this is still in the shop. I would totally pay full price for another one of these. But this is her abstract sunflower. She had this during the $2 Tuesday. It might have been like $3 or something. It might not have been two, but it was part of that sale. Maybe it was two. I don't think I have my invoice anymore to look at, but um, I am obsessed. Like this abstract sunflower, the sheet, first of all, the format of the sheet and the amount of things you get on it is amazing. I love that so much. Um, but the florals are just, let me bring this up here so you can see. 
it's almost got like a daisy-ish vibe, but it's like, you know, here's a sunflower, but it's very, I mean, it's abstract, like it says. Um, it's not so like in your face obvious, but then that kind of looks like an abstract daisy. Um, but just very like wildflower, meadowy kind of feel, but in a fall sense. Um, just absolutely stunning. I love this bouquet here. I am just obsessed. I don't have like a kit or anything that I'm planning on using this with. This was more for my prayer journal, um, but I just love it. Oh my gosh. Alicia, please do a kit with these florals. Holy cow, somebody do a kit with these florals. They're just gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Um, so I had to get that. Um, I definitely will have to go back and get more because I am obsessed with this whole thing. These are huge, so beautiful. Really love this. And then I did pick up these watercolors here. Um, so the watercolor sheets. I really have been loving bringing in watercolor um, swatches into my spreads. I have picked some up from Paper Trout Plans and Miss and Meow. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else, but so far I think that's it. Um, but I really love these. Kind of like the same alcohol ink type of vibe, but a little bit different. But they're really great for bringing in like just little swatches of color into your spread. And I love these. So, um, and mustard happens to be one of my favorite colors. Um, I love mustard and I love light pink. Um, not typically together, but I do love both of those. Um, and then this is a really beautiful sage green kind of color. You cannot see on camera how beautiful this is. It is called sage watercolor. Um, it looks gray on camera, but I promise you it is a beautiful shade of green, um, like a beautiful sage green. So I'm really excited um, to pull these into spreads and see, um, you know, with the fall kits that I have, plus the ones that are coming, um, you know, what and that I'm ordering, um, what can I put those with? Um, here's that beautiful sheet again. Oh my gosh. So this is everything that I got from this $2 Tuesday with the bring back the faves. Um, again, I was definitely trying to be a little bit more conservative with my spending and my purchasing. So I do not have nearly as much as I used to have in my $2 Tuesday orders, but I'm actually quite proud of myself for that and really excited um, to build my collection with things that are matching with the kits that I have and not just going crazy buying a million different things. Um, and then here are the two freebies that I had. I just wanted to show you those again. This is Saskia's and this is Lauren's. Um, there is an entire PR team. They all have amazing freebies. So um, definitely check that out. I believe they're listed on Sadie Sticker's um, Instagram page. Um, if not, throw a name in there and see what happens. <laughs> see what you get. Um, they're just all really beautiful. So uh, that is everything for the two Sadie Stickers orders that I currently have for this haul. Okay, so Dash of Sun, always one of my favorite ones to go over on a haul. Um, just absolutely love um, Chelsea's designs and what she does. Um, I do PR for her shop. So, so far in the haul, this is the only shop that I PR for. Um, I forgot to kind of add a little disclaimer in the beginning, but um, I do receive some things at a discount or free, um, depending on the shop and what the PR, um, you know, benefits are, I suppose. Um, so I just like to put a little disclaimer in that, but all opinions are always my own. I do not promote um, shops or um, things that I personally wouldn't use or don't use or that I, um, you know, don't care for. So if you do see me promoting something, it is not because I'm getting things at a discount. Um, I am not one to just try to go jump on a bunch of PR teams just for discounts. Um, I only want to be on the ones that I truly believe, um, you know, in their shops and love them. So um, yeah, just a little disclaimer there. So this is Dasha's son. She did just come out with two fall kits. Um, I know she is working on some more fall kits currently. So if you are still in the market for fall, um, make sure you're keeping an eye out for her new releases. Um, this one I did pick up just one because I'm still trying to figure out my lineup. And the other kit was a little bit more pastel and I tend to really like more of like the bold colors in my fall. So um, if you watched my last video, um, well, maybe not my last one by the time this gets up because I do have a plan with me coming as well. Um, but my fall shopping video that I have up was a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, but I did talk about this kit in there and I pulled it up online to show you guys. So, um, here it is in the flesh. So this, um, every order from Dash of Sun, you get this cute little business card, brighten your plans with a little dash of sun. And then she writes, thank you and puts your name in there. Super cute. Um, so that is her little business card. This one's foiled in silver. And then this is my freebie. We have revamped my freebie. This was my summer freebie, but we do currently have a fall one. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, with my next order, I will definitely be showing you my fall freebie, but it has um, like some leaves and pumpkins and things like that on there. Um, it has a fall mandala, so it's really, really fun. Um, but this is my um, summer freebie in rose gold.
And then this is just an all orders freebie. Super cute. Look at the little spider webs and the tree and the bats. Adorable. And it has October and November on here, which is really nice. Really love that. And then this, oh my gosh, I am just absolutely in love with this kit. I loved it when I saw it and I ordered it, but seeing it in person is even more jaw dropping. This one's called Autumn Auburn. You can see it up there and it is definitely like a nice burgundy and auburn and mauve. Um, I guess you could call this mauve. It's like a light pinky mauve color. Um, kind of an unexpected combo in a little way and I just love it so much. I love the juxtaposition of the colors. Um, so this, you know, you've got your little floral, um, well, the floral box, but the foiled, I don't know, leaves, I guess. Um, so pretty. This one kind of has the same thing. And then this little fireplace is so cute. It's got a little leaf garland over it and then a little foiled pumpkin. So cute. And then it says autumn is my favorite color. Love this little like floral banner. This is adorable with like the little coffee stains on here, a little croissant so cute and then this one watch you ready look at that it's like the little leaves are falling in the foil that's like my favorite um i know i'm kind of like a child right <laughs> but i love that um this cute little box here you got the book and some foiled glasses and her little socked cozy feet um socked is that a word i don't know whatever you know what i'm trying to say um these boxes here i actually this is the only one there's like the floral headers i think is what i'm thinking of but i love the light like I don't know, it's kind of like a neutral, like ivoryish color behind with all the floral bouquets. And then you've got this beautiful, like mauve color as well. It looks so good with the rose gold. Like this was definitely the right foil choice with these colors. It's just stunning in person. And then this is page two. I love Chelsea's page two. Um, all of her different boxes here. It's really good. So up top, you've got um, these like label boxes. I don't love label boxes, but I typically will cut off this scallop and use this scallop somewhere in my spread and I'll cut it right underneath the foil. So you have like a foiled edge along it and that's really pretty. And then these, you get six midi boxes here and I love these so incredibly much. These ones are um, like a notched midi box as well. So you have two of the notched ones. Um, there's very minimal foil, which I enjoy because then I can decorate it and not have too much foil in the way. Um, you do have some quarter boxes here and then you've got a lot of third boxes, which tends to be the majority of what I use. So I love that. I love that some are completely plain. Some have a little bit of foil and a couple have floral, just perfect mix of not too much. Um, and then you do get six half boxes as well. Really pretty. Again, just a little bit of foil. And then page three, we've got her adorable little icons up top. They are a really nice size. Um, I will say I love pulling them in because they're not super big. Um, so that's kind of nice. Then you get some of these more fancy boxes in here, some checklists some scallop corners. I like to use these for layering um, my icons. I think I said that in my video where I showed this online. Um, and then you have the little square boxes. Love the clipboard. And then all your headers. These ones here are scalloped. So just so you can see that. Look at that floral. So good. I really love that. And then this is our bottom washi. Again, that mauve is just really beautiful. And I feel like that's going to pull in these mauve colors in here. So good when it's all together in a spread. And this, I know I brought this up in that video as well, but it was, you know, it's kind of black when you see it online, but here's the thin line washi. Um, I love this foiled thin strip. It's one of my favorite, favorite things she does in her kits. I hope she never gets rid of that. Um, so beautiful. It's really nice to pull in with the bottom washi or just even use it somewhere else in the spread, but I usually will pull it in with the bottom washi strips. And then you do get some tiny um, flags here. I do still like to have flags. Um, every once in a while, I'll use a checklist and I like to layer it with a flag behind it. Um, and then your little habit tracker. This is a full box with a beautiful garland. Love that. And then your date covers that are nice and simple so you can decorate them however you would like. And then I did pick up a few extras with this kit because I'm obsessed with the florals and the beautiful colors. So this is one of her um, floral sheets. So you guys can see it is the same page as the kit um, size, which I love. It's so big and has so much on it. Probably could get away with just one, but I'm extra and I bought two. Um, so I've got, you know, all the floral trims here that you can use all throughout your spread. 
Um, I think kind of meant to be like in your date cover area if you want. Um, lots of separate elements so you can build your own, which I really love that variety. And a lot of these bouquets are kind of bigger. Um, so it's definitely going to be interesting to try to pull them in. I feel like it's going to be a very like large floral kind of spread, but I'm excited for that. And I love this like, I don't know, banner of florals, I guess, if you want to call it that. I don't know if I can get this up without like ruining this page. There we go. Um, so you can see she doesn't leave a lot of white around the florals, which I love. Um, I hate when I have to trim florals down and hers are nice and contour cut. So um, if you're somebody who also doesn't want to have to cut florals down, let me show you one of these bouquets. Um, you definitely don't have to do that with her florals. So there you go. You can kind of see that really good. Um, love these florals. Love the oranges and the burgundies and some of the light colors with it. So that is her um, Autumn Auburn Deco sheet. She does offer a smaller floral sheet as well if you don't want this many florals. But I would like to know who you are if you don't want that many florals. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like most of us plan with so many florals that I'm always intrigued when people don't use as much because I want to know how you do it. I feel handicapped when I don't have enough florals for a spread now, which is funny because I never used to use a ton of florals in my spreads. And now that I have them, I don't know how to not use them. So, all right, this is her um, journaling kit. You can choose to purchase both pages or just one or the other. Um, so this is, I don't know if this is page one or two, but we're going to call it page one right now. Um, you get this really nice box here, um, some little like tape swatch kind of things, um, some other little layering pieces, some more swatches. I love these florals, so beautiful. Some torn paper kind of looks here, you get like three of those. Um, another one of her little fancy boxes. This kind of looks like a torn calendar page, super cute. And then this page, you do get um, a contour cut like washi strip of florals so good i love this i cannot wait to plan with this kit you guys i can't wait for fall it's september it's rainy and dreary today it's september 10th and um yeah it's still september 10th i'm doing this um and it just is like yay it's fall i might even decorate tomorrow for fall um and then you get you know this one washi strip here that's a little bit thicker wow i really struggled with that word um and then this one is like a nice thin line this would even be fun come on um, it's the same size as like the foiled one. So this would be kind of fun to like pull in with the foiled as well. And then you get some huge bouquets. Love these huge bouquets and some bigger deco. Um, so really good. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of that with, with the kit and with my spread or if I'm going to pull this into my journal. Um, but I'm really excited to have so many different elements for this, um, and to see what I can do with this, um, amazing fall goodness here. Um, so again, I will, um, all my codes are linked in my video descriptions, even if I haven't showed anything for that shop, my codes are all listed in there. Um, my code for Dash of Sun is Cassie10, and again, I have a new freebie, um, this was my summer freebie, but I do have a new fall freebie, um, that you could pick up as well if you put my name in the notes to seller. Okay, last part for this section of my haul anyway. Um, this order, so Dash of Suns and this Paper Muse Crafts, I literally just got in today and they're so good that I had to open them today and haul them. Um, so this one I already took out of, um, that actually came like this inside the, um, like cardboard mailer. So I think she's done away with her plastic sleeves, which is totally fine with me as long as they, you know, don't get soaked in the rain or anything like that. I don't mind not having all of those. I've saved like a million of them for sending out other happy mail. Um, but there was not a cellophane sleeve with this one, but this made me gasp when I took this out of here. How adorable is this? And it says an all at once summer collapsed into fall and it has a code muse 20. I'm wondering if that's like a, like a new code that you can use to save on her, in her shop. Um, but this is the thrifty part of my order and it's so good. This is like the softest tissue paper. This is an adorable little bow. It's, it's just so good. Um, I am obsessed and I haven't opened this yet. So um, yeah, I did get her Apple Farm collection and then I got the Thrifty to go with it. I'm really excited. This is very different than what I typically would plan with for fall and I am obsessed. So I'm gonna go over um, the kit and then the Thrifty that goes with it. Um, so this is the Apple Farm. This is the Deco. I love the florals. Um, they're very like delicate and pretty, but there's a lot of red in the kit. And so the like, um, I don't know, I, I keep using the word juxtaposition. I don't know what other word to use right now because my brain is not fully functioning. Um, it's Saturday, 
but um, just like the, the contrast, I guess that's the word I'm looking for with the red and the pink um, and the florals. I do wish that you got more florals on here. I feel like there could be more if they were like rearranged differently. So that's the only thing that I wish there was more on each page. Um, but her florals are good. They are very contour cut, so you're not looking at a lot of white around them. So, um, that part to me, honestly, is more important than packing florals on as long as like, you know, they're good. Look how delicate that is. It's so good. Let's see if I can put it back on here without destroying it. It's not going to go on there perfectly. Um, so I did get two pages of the floral. I may need more, but this might be enough because there is some in the kit and in this, um, journaling kit as well. Um, so I did pick up this journaling page in both transparent and premium. So it's the same exact page, just one's in transparent. Um, so I'll show you in the premium because it's a little easier to see on camera. These are huge contour cut floral pieces. I am most excited about these, I think. Um, the torn paper is also really good. You get some more bigger bouquets and some really nice deco. I love this little picture with the barn and the little gingham tape. How cute is that? So adorable. So that is um, the journaling page. And then this is the Apple Farm kit. Um, so I saw this one and I just really loved it. I know there's a lot of Apple renditions out there right now, but again, I love the floral on this um, with the like the light pink and then the red with the apples. Loved the barn, um, just really, really good. So I had to pick this one up. Um, love the little ladder with the apple tree. It's kind of almost like a watercolor scene with this double box. Loved that tractor. Um, my grandfather who passed away a couple, um, Octobers ago, I think it's, we're going on, we're going on three years now. I think we're going on three years possibly. Um, no, I'm sorry. It'll be two years. Um, since we lost my grandfather, he worked on a farm his whole life. Um, and so I have a lot of pictures of him on tractors kind of similar to this. And so, um, and he passed in October. Um, and so this, I may use this kit the week that, um, you know, he passed to commemorate that because I feel like this is like a nod to him a little bit um, that all kind of just dawned on me on camera here. So um, bear with me while I talk through that. Uh, but then you've got your little apple buckets here with a couple little foiled apples, these beautiful florals. This says fresh pressed cider down at the farm. Cute little like farm stand. Orchard apples, the little like almost washi strip kind of look there. And then this barn, look at that cute little truck too. Just so cute love this love like kind of like the peachy color that's in here the colors are really pretty together but i don't know that i would have put these colors together without seeing this so really love um the rendition of like the different the way she did this artwork um sorry i put upside down so these are our bottom washi strips you got the red gingham with the like 25 cent you pick all of that um really cute very farmy and then your date covers and this beautiful like sage green, another full box down here that you can add something in and a habit tracker. And then um, the boxes page, this is probably one of my favorite formats is um, Paper Muse Crafts. I know I said that for Sadie Suckers and for Dasha Sun, um, but I love how um, Paper Muse Crafts does her boxes. You get like half a page of midi and fancy boxes and that is what I tend to pull more of. So I love that you get so many of them. Um, on this page and then wait there's more on the next page um, and then you get some quarter boxes some third boxes and only one row of half boxes which I really love personally because I don't use a ton of half boxes so I think it's such a good format oh my gosh look this is foiled up top I didn't even realize that before she foiled the apple farm that's such a sweet little touch I didn't notice that that's really cute and then the last page of the kit here, you've got your headers. Again, I love this pattern, love the um, simple line. And then you get some of these um, bouquets that are a little bit smaller. So let me show you in comparison. So like this is the same bouquet, but you can see these are smaller and I love that you get the size difference. Um, same with the deco, if you get the journaling sheet, um, this deco on the kit is smaller. So it's the same deco, but a little bit smaller. It gives you some size variety, I love that. And then look at all of the fancy boxes. So between these ones and this, like look how many you get. You can basically not even have to pull in any other ones almost. These are so good. Um, so really love this page. You got your checklist if you do use checklist still. I do like to pull some in. So um, it's nice to have a few in here. And then you've got a habit tracker and then also just like a foiled, um, you could use it as a habit tracker or whatever list, whatever you wanna use it for. Um, but really, really pretty. I'm so excited for this kit. 
Um, and again, here's the journaling sheets that go with it. Same sheet, just in the transparent versus um, premium map. Wow, why did I say versus like that? I'm getting tired. Okay. And then this is the thrifty part. So I'm going to pull this up here so you guys can see this adorable little sheet here. These are actually stickers. I didn't realize that until I pulled this out. Um, these are stickers. So cute. They're like little scenes. This is such a good freebie. I really love this. It looks like there might be more freebies inside here too. Um, but I don't know yet because I haven't opened this part yet. So let's find out together. Let us see. Oh, I feel bad ripping this paper. Does anybody else feel bad ripping paper? Let me know if you're one of those people that like feels bad ripping things like this. It's like really good paper too. Do you feel bad when you do that? Or are you just like, what is wrong with you? It's literally just paper. Why do you feel bad? Let me know. Okay. Oh, no, these aren't, there aren't freebies. These are what I ordered. Okay. Good that I forgot what I ordered, right? <laughs> sort of for a second. Um, okay. So these are, I got everything, um, to kind of match the kit. I didn't get it in other colors because I only intended to use one apple kit and this is it. So, um, these are the doily outlines. I did get these on transparent mat. Did I get, I did get two of them cause you only get four on a sheet, but if you can see really closely, these are actually like, they have like little apples and stuff. So they are definitely are specific to the kit or like any other apple kit. So I only got them in gold, um, to go with the kit. She does have a really nice light gold, which again is my preference. Um, these apple trees, so beautiful. I was tempted to buy these in more colors, but then I realized they do actually have apples in them that you can see and they're not going to match anything else. So as beautiful as they are, I only need them in gold. So I just got one. And then the fences, I just got this in gold as well um, to match this kit. I love like the little barn looking fence. So cute. And then I did get some of the grass sheets. I felt like these would go really well um, because they're, you know, it does look like you've got like your grass and stuff here. So these will kind of go with that. And then I did get some of the little mini apple deco. And then these tree branches. I think these are the only ones that I got in all three colors. Yeah, because I felt like these weren't super specific just to apples and they look very fall. So I did get those in all three colors. Her rose gold is a very light rose gold. It does lend a little bit more copper, not quite as pink, um, but really, really pretty and subtle. And then silver. And then I did get, um, oh, I forgot I had more floral. Yes, that's why I didn't buy those because I have more floral. Okay, I did get this one here, the grass with like a little bit of florals in it because I think this would be really cute with a kit. Just got that in gold. And then I forgot that I got these trims, you guys. All right, I got two in um, transparent and one in premium matte. Um, let me show you in the premium matte because it's easier to see. But these are long strips of the beautiful florals that are part of this kit. And then all the little trims you could use throughout obsessed really really love these florals which is why i got so many um but really really beautiful so super excited um for this kit and all of the deco that goes with it here let me just bring everything back in so you can still see it all um paper muse crafts has been really killing it with her fall kits i feel like all of her fall kits have been so beautiful um, I'm definitely going back for more. I just need to figure out which ones I'm getting, but I know I'm going to be getting more from her for fall. Um, I just, I couldn't resist this one. I had to get this one right away. Um, so this is Apple Farm. I believe this is still up in her shop. The Thrifty is not. Um, the trims would be, but the Thrifty foiled items would not be up there anymore. But I believe Apple Farm is still in the shop if you're interested in picking that up. Um, it does look like there is a code on here, Muse20. Um, I have not tried that personally yet, but it looks like that's on there. So um, if you are ordering, maybe try that and see if you can get a 20% discount. Um, I don't believe she has any PR girls either for PR freebies, but like I said, she, you know, put this freebie in there and this is amazing. So, um, definitely make sure you check out Paper Muse Craft. She's been killing it for fall. Um, so yeah, make sure you go, um, check her out. She is doing, um, YouTube videos for her new releases when she does them now. So if you want to go check out Paper Muse Crafts on YouTube, um, give her a like, subscribe to her channel. So that way you can, um, be alerted when all of her new release videos go up. I'm really excited to see what she has for um, winter and Christmas because she's just on a roll right now. So um, definitely make sure you go check that out and um, hopefully you'll get this amazing freebie as well. 
Okay, so I know in the beginning of the video and most of my haul videos, I let you know that I do film these in segments. So I'm um, kind of moving into, I guess, the second um, little portion of this haul. So I do have um, some two little bees here, my newest addiction, Saucy Stickers Co. And of course, like always, <laughs> Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesday order. This one's pretty sizable. Um, so I'm going to jump into these and then this will most likely conclude my haul video. Um, I'm hoping to get this up this weekend so um, I can start another haul video with everything else that I'm getting ready to order this weekend. So we will jump right in. So for this Two Little Bees um, order I have here, this uh, Maria was super kind and she gifted this to me. So uh, Maria, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm so excited. Um, I actually had forgotten when I was doing all my fall lineup videos that I have this one coming. So um, I'm gonna have to do some rearranging in my fall lineup, um, but I definitely need to get this one in there because it's so beautiful and it was so kind of her. Um, to send this my way. So I'm going to go into the kit first. Um, of course, Maria sent me all the add-ons that I would normally buy. Um, so Maria, thank you for knowing me and um, sending me all of the good things. Um, so this one is called Autumn Breeze and this one, this double box scene is just stunning to me. I love the foiled fireplace and the little lantern. Like I just want to jump into the scene. Um, the foil on the roof I think is just so beautiful. And then the florals, this is like really the only like main floral floral, but there's a little bit down here you can see too and a little in here. Um, but they are more like a longer kind of bunch than like our typical round, um, you know, bunches of florals that we're used to seeing and working with in the planner community. So um, I'm excited to branch out, haha, -ha, pun intended, pun intended, <laughs> um, and see what I can do with these kind of florals in the spread. Um, but I love that she added some little like fall leaves in here as well. Um, I love the blowing leaves and this one with a little butterfly and like the monarch to me just seems so fall. Um, love this little sweater jean scene, um, super cute little bow, really happy that there's no like bras in here. I'm hoping we're getting away from that as a community because I don't know, I, that's just like one of my personal pet peeves. I hate the bras in the boxes. Um, I think I might have already mentioned that in this haul video. Um, Fall bucket list, super cute. It says drink pumpkin spice, light fall candles, go apple picking, visit a pumpkin patch, bake apple pie, and snuggle by a fire. I have only lit a fall candle. That's all I've got so far on this list. Um, but fall is kind of like just getting underway, I feel like, here in North Carolina. So lots of time to do all the things. Um, this scene here with a little cozy couch. I love the chandelier. Um, I feel like it adds like kind of more of like an elegant feel to the kit. And um, I'm excited to kind of pull in some different elements that'll reflect like this, the vibe of this box. Um, and then you've got another one that says, hello autumn. And then this cute little scene with the um, like pumpkin spice, um, which I also haven't had because I can't have a lot of that stuff with my food sensitivities and that's sad. I'll have to find a way to make like my own pumpkin spice. Okay, so page two, um, this page, we've got all of our headers. You've got some really cute flags at the top and even like a little floral. Um, she uses her space so well, like there is no space wasted on here and I love that she just organizes it so well. Um, you do get a bunch of checklists here and then these little ones here, these are really cute for either layering um, or, you know, just using as like a little kind of taking up space when you don't have a lot happening on a day. And then um, you've got a bunch of little deco with some foil down here that matches the kit. You've got your Monday through Sunday and then a couple little habit trackers and then another like kind of space space taking up box. I don't know what you want to call that, but um, I love those because there are some days where I just need like something small that will take something up, you know, and I'm my creativity shot. So I can just pull in one of those. Um, this third page here is not foiled, which is great because you can really add your own foil and change this to how you want it. Um, you do get some more page flags and they are different than these page flags here a little bit. Like this one's a bit more zoomed in. This is a, um, more zoomed in as well in kind of a different section. This, these ones are all like vertical where these ones are more horizontal with the pattern a little bit. Um, and then you get this fun little fancy box. This one is, yeah, it's like a notched edge, which is super cute. And then these clipboards, I love her clipboards so much. A few little icons, some torn paper, these like midi size boxes here, which are so good. Um, Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan has kind of gotten me into layering um, like a little foiled box on some of these more plain ones. Um, I know that these aren't the right color, but I'm gonna pull these in. This is this kit is foiled in rose gold. Um, and I'm currently working on a silver spread, so I'm gonna bring these in just to show you, but these were the collab, um, the paper trail plans, and Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan did. 
um, but you can see like these ones here with the foil, you could easily layer that over one of these boxes and um, add a little bit of a foil element on there and still have a whited out space to write on. So um, I don't know if these are still in the shop. They might be with paper trail plans, but these um, I've got them in um, the rectangle, square, um, circle, and I think the arch, but I don't have those ones out right now, but they do have them in a few different ones. So um, check paper trail plans out. They might still have those from the collab and they do come with different sizes on here. Um, so if you see, you know, like this one's a little bit smaller and they kind of get bigger. So depending on what midi box you're using, you know, you can find one that fits the right size or what kit format you're using. All right, back to Tula B. Sorry, little field trip there with paper trail plants. <laughs> um, but these always make me think of that because I think they're perfect for that. And then you do get a few boxes here that have some deco in them. So um, that's always super nice. Sometimes I like pulling them in with a little bit of something on them already. And then you have a ton of, you know, regular width boxes. Um, they're not the midi size, but they are regular um, width and different sizes. So you've got um, third and quarter size boxes here. And then, oh, this bottle washi, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, this here is contour cut, like shut the front door. It's gorgeous. It's got little bows kind of strewn throughout it and the little butterflies and it is just absolutely beautiful. And um, this here, I'm really sad because I thought that I still had these dividers and I don't think I do. Like I had them from last year with Sadie stickers um, with this pattern and I didn't buy any this year because I thought I still had some and I'm pretty sure I don't. So I'm kind of sad about that. Um, but I did actually do a lot of fall spreads last year. I didn't skip through most of them like some years I have just because life got busy. Um, so I'm kind of sad I missed out on these, but it's okay. Um, I'm sure I have a lot of other fall deco I can bring in, but I just, I love this pattern of like the blowing leaves. It's so pretty. And it really like goes well with, I feel like this box here, even though like it's a different pattern, I feel like the, you know, the like whole wind blowing thing is kind of the same. So um, then her date covers, these are um, contour cut now. So that's really nice. It kind of gives you a lot of like more room around them to do date cover deco and all that. And then you get another full box that's like a clipboard. So I feel like these ones are good if you want to like write in something special or a quote. I feel like I say that every time we have one of these big boxes. Um, I know some people are still tracking like work from home or if you're pregnant, you're tracking like what week you're on or baby, how, you know, how old is baby? So these are kind of fun for your sidebar for that. And this little box down here is so beautiful. I love the little blowing leaves over the florals. I love how she layered those. So that is the base kit. Um, I will need to look and see if this is still um, available in the shop. If you are like me and behind all of your shopping and all your spreads, maybe you still need fall spreads too, but this one is really gorgeous. It's a nice like soft muted pastel. Um, I feel like this one will probably make its way into my lineup either like early August, early September, because I am still back planning that far. Um, I just need to figure out where, but it's the soft muted colors to me scream like early fall. So um, really love the kit. And then, um, like I said, she did send me a bunch of deco. So this is the actual deco sheet um, that has all of like the little, I guess, deco elements. You've got the girls in both skin tones, um, you know, a little bit of floral, but mainly all of like the, the elements from here. Super cute. And then all of the amazing add-ons. So Maria has like some of my favorite add-ons. She has so many good ones. Um, these are the florals. I may, um, I'm about to put an order in today because she's got a birthday sale going on. Tomorrow's her birthday, October 1st. Um, so she does have a sale going on this weekend. So hopefully I get this haul up and you can take advantage of that. Um, I think it's 20% off if you spend 40 or more and 15% off if you um, spend under 40. Um, she doesn't have any PR people, so it's not like you can put your a name in there, but she always has like a freebie. So um, I definitely will need more florals. But these are, you see what I mean? Like they're not, um, you know, like a typical floral sheet where you've got like bunches. So like here's a floral sheet from Sadie Stickers. I'm working on this spread. Um, these are more like a, I don't know, I want to call them like a fat bunch <laughs> compared to these like taller, skinnier ones. So, um, you know, there's more branches. So when it comes to like cutting something in half, it doesn't quite have the same effect as it does with these. So, um, definitely going to be interesting to see like how I'm going to pull these in. There are some little separate elements, but not a ton. So, um, I do want to pick up another one because I feel like, um, these are going to be harder to cut into like, you know, and to use both halves if you cut them. So... Um, but I just think these florals 
are so, so pretty, if you can see those there. Um, also, sorry for my horrible nails. I have been, like, growing them back out from when I had my nails on, and they're, like, about healthy, so it's about time to ruin them again, right? See, like, there's this one edge here that just won't go away. So, um, I apologize if my nails are um, disturbing you in this video at all. I just have not had time to go get them done. Um, but these little bouquets here that I was pointing out before I got distracted, um, I love that there's like the tiniest little bit of purple in here. Um, it's kind of unexpected, but it's like a perfect fall, like lavendery purple. And then you do get some of these little butterflies that I can't wait to put in there. So super, super cute. So that is the floral deco page. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. This is a new add-on that she has now in the, in the, um, shop. There are little washi strips. I love this little baby contour cut floral. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. And then you do have all of these. Um, this one here, it does look like postage stamps. They are, it is one solid strip, but um, you could easily cut those, you know, and just use like a little postage stamp throughout the spread. And then it just repeats again. So you get two sets of these um, different ones here with all the beautiful florals from the kit. And then this is, oh gosh, I like, there's no names on here and I always forget what the, what these are called, but I think this is called her functional add-on. Um, you do get, I love that you get like little Polaroids now. I don't think I realized that before. They're so baby. Look how little these are. They're so adorable. Um, and then these tiny arches. Oh, I love this. Um, some of her little scalloped, um, squares as well. And then you do get, I love that on this page, the floral deco, let me show you. Um, it's much smaller. So you can see like these two bouquets here are like the same bouquet, but much smaller. So I love that she does that. So you get some variety in sizing. Um, and then these obviously are kind of like even smaller that are already on here. Um, these scallops are super cute. Um, I was thinking, what was I thinking? I was talking in my spread about using like a circle. Gosh, which ones was I thinking of using? I was thinking of using a circle. These are too small, I think. Um, I think I was talking in my Instagram stories with the Saucy Stickers Co. Kit. I wanted to like put something foil in here. Um, so TBD, I was thinking one of like these kind of things, I think, but I don't think it's gonna be wide enough to like cut it in half. Um, but I love when these little scallops are like daintily foiled along here. Crafts by Tawi always does that and I think it's so pretty. Um, so I'll probably try to find a way to foil these if I use those in there. Um, and then you get all of these trims, which I love so much. Again, they're like contour cut, love them. Um, more little like layering pieces in here and tiny boxes. And then a couple like fatter, I can't even call them midi boxes cause they're like really short, but these are midi. Um, I do wish that the floral was like on the opposite side for one of the boxes, um, just so that you had some variety there and they weren't like exactly the same. Um, this one's green, this one's blue, but still. Um, and then you get these. I don't typically use like the labels. I don't like the open end. Um, but sometimes I'll use these, like cut off the scallop and just use the scallop for something, which is kind of fun. Um, and then there is another trim down here. So you've got a full set of seven if you wanted to use these in like your date cover area. And then this page, I mean, what page is right here? That's the journaling. Okay. So this page, I don't know what she calls this. I refer to this more as like the floral or trims page. Um, because you do get an additional like long floral. Um, again, I am obsessed with these florals. I am so happy that I have so many because I feel like I can use these, um, you know, in other places, not just in this spread. So, um, really, really love this sheet. I love all of the little journaling elements. Um, I feel like if you're somebody who journals like this one, you know, would be good to go with the journaling kit. Um, cause it gives you some more florals, like these three, you could get probably more than one journaling spread out of this. And, um, obviously it's a great kit add on, but I feel like this could be, even if you don't do like memory spreads and you just do journaling, this could be a really good one, um, to pick up as well. So, um, then lastly, I feel like I'm out of breath. I'm talking too fast. Um, do you guys ever listen to my hauls and be like, wow, slow down. Um, I have always talked fast since I was a little girl and, sometimes I forget that I'm talking really fast until I'm out of breath. And then I'm like, oh yeah, you're talking like twice the speed of normal people, Cassie, slow it down. Um, so forgive me if I am talking way too fast, um, feel free to leave me a comment and be like, yeah, could you please slow down? Um, I've heard that my whole life. So you will not offend me at all if you feel that way. So, um, 
if you do videos, let me know in the comments if you ever feel like you're talking too fast or too slow. Um, I'm one of those people that I like when people talk fast, probably because I am a fast talker. Um, but yeah, okay, enough about that. So um, this is the journaling kit. So I believe you can purchase one or both pages. I don't think you have to purchase both. Um, I'll have to double check. I'll see if I remember, I'll put like a little thing on the screen here to let you know. Um, I think you can purchase these separately though. So she was kind and sent me both of them and I'm so, so glad she did. I just, I know I've said it like a million times, but I'm just so in love with these florals. Um, I love the torn pages here and like the different kinds. Um, Sadie stickers just had a $2 Tuesday with like lace, um, like strips that you can put behind these things. And I'm so excited to use those. Um, you got some floral, like bigger floral pieces, um, on here as well. So more for like journaling, obviously, um, this cute little like torn calendar page, a big Polaroid, um, and then some more torn paper on the bottom. And then this one, you do get like a traditional kind of washi strip on the bottom with a floral pattern and this beautiful, like sagey green. It's not showing up quite as true to color on here. And I'm kind of sad about that. Um, it is, today is, um, Saturday, September 30th, and we are not getting hit with the actual hurricane here in North Carolina, but we're getting like a lot of the after effects with the rain and it is super dreary. Um, so even with my lights, I feel like things are not showing up true to color. This is a very beautiful, like sagey green and it's much like, not brighter, but kind of brighter. I don't know if that makes sense, um, in person than it is showing up here. So I apologize that it's not showing up great. Um, you do get the fall bucket list again. It's not foiled in this one, um, but you have that one. And then um, some more torn paper and little um, like deco pieces. I love these tape pieces, little postage stamp with um, like the full box or the like double box scene there. And then um, some little page flags as well. So that is the journaling kit. Um, and then these are all, like I said, these are all add-ons for the Autumn Breeze kit. Uh, Maria, thank you again if you're listening um, for sending this over to me. Ooh, throwing things around. Um, super, super sweet of you, and I am so excited to plan with this kit. Okay, another $2 Tuesday Sadie Stickers order. What is that, like three in this haul probably? I don't know, probably. Um, this one is from the cozy $2 Tuesday that she had, and I went a little bit crazy with this one. Um, or a lot crazy. So let's dive into this. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. I like literally can't get it out of here. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to like get everything out. <laughs> it took a minute. Um, I did ask for Tay's freebie. I'm a little bit sad cause I was hoping it would be her new freebie. Um, I personally don't use like a ton of butterflies or monstera leaves or anything like that. Um, and I really loved her, her new one. So, um, it's okay. I'm sure I'll use it for something or if not, I can throw this in a D stash. Um, but she does have a really pretty one for fall. Um, all of the ones for Sadie stickers for fall winter are absolutely gorgeous. So, um, make sure you check them out. I think they're on her Instagram. Um, and you can put whoever you want their name in the notes to, um, seller and get their freebie. Um, and then this is the giant pile of things. So let's go through the washi first. We can get that out of the way because this is a little bit smaller pile. Um, I love all things books and cozy. I am definitely like an introvert book nerd. Um, don't read nearly as much as I used to or would like to, but they still have a special place in my heart. So had to buy all the book things. Um, so this bottom washi, I love so much. Um, so I got this one in all three foil colors. Look at that in silver. So pretty. I anticipate that I will probably pick up a decent amount of kits that are cozy-ish for the winter months. So I got it in all three just in case. And then this is the Garland Lights here. What's on that one there? Um, these are the string lights. So I thought these were super cute. Again, I feel like I have some kits that already have this possibly. Um, and I know this is kind of popular right now, so I thought I'd get it in all three just um, so that I have it just in case. This was definitely not a self-controlled Sadie stickers order. I know I've been working on that, but this was not a self-control order. Just, just saying that. All right. Um, this one is the Garland Lights. These ones kind of look a little bit Christmassy to me. I picture this at like, you know, when you go to buy a tree at like the tree farm places and they have all their lights kind of like along the fences. Um, that's what this reminds me of. So I feel like these are a little bit Christmassy and again, wasn't sure what kits I'd use them with yet. So I just got them in all three. 
And then these ones are the assorted garland lights. Um, I'll be honest in person, these aren't as much my favorite. Um, I don't know if it's just like the mixture of the two together. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit busier than what I prefer for these kind of things. So I'm not sure where I'll use these, if I'll use these, um, cause it's a little bit busy, but I guess when I saw it, I thought that it, it was good. Um, and then it's not that it's bad at all. It's just not so much my style. So i um, not sure if those will get used, but they are pretty. They're just busier than what I like to put in my um, washi area with the like garlands. I like more delicate garlands. Okay, so this is a huge stack. Um, for this $2 Tuesday, let me see if I can get you in a little closer. There we go. For this $2 Tuesday, um, she did um, have premium matte as an option. And that was awesome because a lot of these I thought, you know, transparent matte would be fun for like a deco but um premium matte would be great like for kind of more a Nikon purpose so I did get a, a lot of these in both transparent and premium and all three foils because again I don't know where I'm using these I just had to have them so zero self-control I bought all this when I was on the way to take my daughter to um visiting at college and we like had to hurry up and leave and I was sitting in the parking lot at Sheets ordering my $2 Tuesday because I waited till the last second so yeah, little insight into my crazy. I am probably always one of the last orders for that. Um, so Alicia, I'm sorry. I'm always cramming it in last minute. Uh, but these oil lamps I thought were so stinking cute. Um, we had little lamps like this growing up and um, it's just kind of nostalgic and I just think that they're so pretty. So I got those ones um, in transparent matte in all three. And then I did get them kind of as icons. Um, this is really good. You can actually see in here the difference in the gold. Um, this is, I believe, the same gold. It's just it shows up different on transparent versus premium. Um, this lighter is like more my preferred gold, um, but I don't hate this gold either. This one isn't like super yellowy, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, I got them on the premium mat as well. So that is the gold and then the silver and the rose gold. And then of course, of course I had to get the bookshelves. And again, I wasn't sure, you know, with deco, like how I was going to use these. Um, but since they're books and they're something that I felt like I could use in like multiple, like not just my memory spreads, I did go ahead and get them um, in the premium and the transparent um, so that I have enough of them for whatever I decide to use them for. And then more books. These are the book stack. So here's the stack of books. This reminds me of like a pyramid almost. Um, like I don't know why it like screams Egyptian to me, but it does a little bit. So um, you've got like a stack of like a few and then kind of a different like side view of them and then like more and more so different size stacks. I think, yeah, I did these in all three again. And then this one, you know, matches like the washi. It's more like, I can't even call it a divider, but you know, kind of like a divider type of thing. Um, just a little bit. They're like, you got like the small ones a little bit like medium and then some large ones. So I love that there's different sizes depending on what you're using them for. Like these would be great in a journaling spread because they're so big. Again, in transparent matte and the premium matte that I just showed. And then these typewriters, I probably should have only gotten them in premium matte, but I got them in both. Um, so I've got the gold and the silver and the rose gold. So much foil, so pretty. Um, I probably will use these, I was thinking maybe in my month section because that like makes sense to me. Um, so really the premium is probably all I needed, but they're so pretty and you only get six on a sheet. So why not get them all? These were one of my favorite parts of the release. If I'm being honest, I am obsessed with these Mason garlands. Um, I think they're so pretty. I kind of wish we had some strips like this with the Mason garlands. I don't think there were any because I would have purchased them, I believe. Um, but you know, I was purchasing in a hurry, so maybe they were there and I just missed them, but I think they're so, so pretty. These, like all these garlands, I did not get in premium matte because that wouldn't make sense for me. Um, these are like the assorted ones. You can see these are a little bit bigger. These have that assorted garland that I feel like is a little busy, but I feel like it's better in the smaller, um, sizes because it's not like as much of it. I don't know. It's like doable bite-sized pieces. <laughs> um, so those ones I just got in transparent as well. And then these are the garland lights. I think these are so pretty. They're very dainty. 
And then these are the assorted garland lights. Again, kind of busy for my taste. I'm not sure if I will pull those into spreads, but maybe there's a spread that they will seem fitting. And then these mason jars. I don't know why I'm such a sucker for mason jars. Like I don't can or garden. I would like to, but I haven't started that in my life yet. So um, maybe someday, but my mom does. Maybe it just reminds me of my mom, but I thought these were so cute. So I feel like they're probably gonna be more, like I'll probably use them more in premium mat. But I thought these could be super cute in like a date cover area or something to do deco. So I also got them in premium because, or not premium, I'm sorry, transparent. Because how fun would that be to like layer a floral behind that, you know? And like have it look like a little jar of florals. That's a fun idea. So I may have to do that with something. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure that out. And then these rotary phones. I was um, showing my friend these, my friend Katie. Um, she's the reform planner. I think I probably already mentioned her once, but... Um, she I was showing her these and she's like what are you going to use those for and I was like I don't even know I just thought they were cute um so I have no idea maybe like to mark talking on the phone with a friend or something like that um but I just thought they were so pretty and I probably didn't need to buy them in both because these are so foiled that like in reality like you kind of can't really tell the difference you know that, that they're not on premium mat because there's so much foil it basically is the whole sticker so um but I've got more of them so I'm not mad that's them in all three. So that is everything. So many things for this $2 Tuesday. Let me move you back up. Um, like I said, I did get taste freebie this time. There's a whole bunch of people on the team with really amazing freebies. So check out Sadie Sticker's page. Um, give her PR girls a follow and um, put one of their names in there so you can get a fun freebie as well. All right, so this next shop is My Newest Addiction. Um, this was a small PR order that I put in. I do PR for her team. Um, my code, I will put it on the screen here, but um, it's also always linked in my videos and um, on my Instagram page. But my code is Cassie15 and I do a freebie. Um, I believe in here I have everybody's freebies to share, which is exciting because we all just got updated ones. Um, I think we're going to be updating them again shortly because a lot of ours are fall themed. Um, but we'll be updating them for like the winter season as we're all kind of moving into that as far as like purchases. So um, this one is the Chilly Nights Kit. So let me just dive into this. I love that she has this cute little thank you enjoy your really cute stickers. I think that's super cute. Oh, my power is flickering. Yikes, I hope we don't lose power. Okay, let me try to get through this. I literally only have one more shop. <laughs> I hope we don't lose power because I'm going to have to stop this and start over um, because my lights will go off and we will not be able to see things. Oh, there it goes again. Please don't go off. Okay. I'm sorry if this is like hot mess over here. So let me go into these. Um, sorry if this ends up getting like kind of jumbled um, because of the whole power situation. I'm just hoping and praying we don't lose it. Um, okay. So this is the little freebie. This is the current freebie. She did just show on her live today. Um, Earlier, I said it was Saturday. It's Friday. I'm so sorry. It's Friday, September 30th. Um, but she did share on her live that um, she's updating this freebie, and it's super cute. Um, but this one's fun with all the icons, so I do enjoy this. But um, she's got a really cool new one coming up that's a little bit more, like, journaling-focused. Um, she also threw in this little cute freebie that says stickers. It's just, like, a little label sticker. And then um, this bonus sampler freebie. I love this so much. I say that every time I get one, but I truly use all of these elements, and I really love it. It's like a random foil pull, pull too. Um, sorry if I like sped through that. I just want to get to our freebies because they're so good. Um, and I think I shared this on my, um, I shared this on my stories. So you might've seen a lot of these things in my stories. Um, so feel free to skip this part of my video if you're like, I already saw this girl, I want to see it again. Um, so this is my current freebie. Um, there's my code right there. I wanted um, like some of her twinkle garlands and just like little bow dangles and some little bow clusters. I am still a sucker for bows. Um, and then just some little like florals. These are a little bit more like this reminds me of like a mom. Um, so it's a little bit more like kind of fall feeling, but still some florals since obviously we're all using florals all the time. And then this is Alyssa. So she is silver antler planning. Let me put this down so you can see hers better. I love that hers is like all celebration themed. Um, she's pregnant and super adorable. And so I feel like there's a lot to celebrate for Alyssa. Um, so she has all of the different types of garlands on hers, which I think is so smart. Um, so you can kind of try them all out and see if you want to get some from the shop. Um, her code is Alyssa15 and her Instagram handle is at Silver Antler Planning. 
And then um, this is Heather's, Heather 15. She is planning with Heather. She's got these laptop girls, which are my absolute favorite. I want a laptop girls, but I also want a garlands and you can't have, you know, obviously transparent and matte items. So I went with garlands, but I'm so happy that she did girls because they're some of my favorite. And then she's got these cute little pumpkins that do match. I think they match the pumpkin kisses kit. And then um, like some little functional boxes here. And then Coco 15, she is Coco Lux Designs. She also did um, like the single, double, triple quad. Um, she's got some hanging fall deco, which I love. So good. And then Jenny 15 at Jenny and her plans. Um, she did this really pretty girl. And then she's got some dangling bow deco and then some floral clusters as well. And then Yana, she is Yana15 at planswithyana.xox. I love that hers has so much fall on it, but still has some butterflies, like it's so fun. Um, and then she's got a couple of like the quad lights here. Love it so much. And then we're back to mine. So you can put any of our names um, in the, you know, to get your 15% off. And then um, you can ask for whoever's freebie. So, I mean, you could even mix and match because you have to put the name in the notes um otherwise like it doesn't show up for her when um she goes to do your order so you could like put somebody's code in and then get somebody else's freebie whatever collect them all um so that's all of our new freebies and then this kit um i really love like the pretty oh why do i have oh i did buy more of those okay i was like why are those in there i bought more i'll explain that um, so this is the Chili Nights Halloween kit. Um, you do get date dots with your kit still. So um, those are in rose gold because I chose to pick this one up in rose gold. Um, I just really thought it was so pretty when she showed it with the rose gold and so I had to get it. Um, so this one says Chili Nights Thrilling Frights. And you've got this cute scene with the house up here with um, some little like pumpkins. I love the cobwebs because they're like not like a traditional cobweb. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just thought they were kind of fun with a little spider and these flowers that look like they're dying, but like also still really beautiful. Um, all the little like ghosts. Are these bats? They're bats. It's freaking bats. They're bats hanging out in the trees there. So cute. I didn't realize that. Oh, and I want foiled bats. I know it's way too late for anybody to make foiled bats, like hanging bats this year, but um, next year somebody makes some hanging bats. I have like all the little like flying bats, but I don't have any hanging ones. Um, and then I love this lace pattern. I am a sucker for lace. Um, when she did her live today, she's got either the same or similar lace in the kit, the Northern Lights kit. And I just asked if she could make some like foiled trims with this lace pattern because I just think it'd be so beautiful. So um, I think she said she was going to try to add those to the shop. So um, when I, by the time I'm like editing this video, um, hopefully they'll be up. And if they are, I'll just put a little um, note on the screen here so that you know. But um, I love lace. I want more lace in my life. Um, the other fun thing with this kit, if you can see here, this is like a little contour cut box. So you could leave it in here and you really can't tell, you know, like if this is down, you really can't tell that it's contour cut. Um, but I'm totally going to pull this out and use it as a contour cut because I think that's so fun. Um, and then this one, you've got a lot of room. You could put like a foiled script or something in here. Um, super cute. And then you've got this little ghost with a little like trick or treat pumpkin here so cute and then um, bottom washi you do have just like a simple line through here um, and then you've got this lace as well I love that lace so much and then these she has since with her newer um, the new kits that she released today she now has like the kiss cut contour cut date covers these are just a traditional rectangle but the new format for her um, kit she just released do have a thinner like our contour cut um, these are some of my favorite things I wish that shops I probably already said this I wish the shops would put more of these in their kits like I would take these over regular size headers any day um, these have now been moved so her kit format has changed since this um, I love that she's constantly like thinking about what are we doing in the community what do people want um, trying to keep it affordable as well because now that we're all purchasing so many add-ons I know it can get expensive um, so she narrowed down her kit to three pages and just kept like what most people are using and then made a lot of things into add-ons so that way you don't have to you have more of what you will use and then you can add on what you would want um, these are now on an add-on I believe 
I'm like 99% sure these are now on an add-on, which is great for me because I don't tend to use these. So now this space in her kit is being taken up with things that I will actually use. So um, thank you, Laura, for always listening to the community and really always striving to like make the kit format perfect for all of us planner girls. Um, but this, this format is a four page format still that I'm going through. So um, this is the boxes page. You do get um, five boxes across the top here that are like a more small decorative. And then you've got six of your half boxes. And then these are third boxes. And then these are a scallop. So you can see it's like a nice tiny little scallop edge along here with like the pattern. This looks like like a, you know, spooky night sky to me. And then underneath here, it's hard to see, but these are all like little scalloped um, boxes underneath. So these three here, and then you do get um, all of these quarter boxes here as well. And then some midi boxes, which are my personal faves. Love the midi boxes. Oh, sorry. I am talking so much. I'm starting to lose my voice a little. Okay. So headers. Um, again, this format has changed. Um, she does have a whole separate sheet of headers and has just two in the kit now. But um, for this kit, if you were to pick this one up, this one does have um, the scalloped headers. And this is just a regular, um, both of these are regular, like rectangular. I love this dotted line and the offset bows. And then this one here is another little contour cut box. It's so fun. I love this one so, so much. Um, so pretty. And it's got like all the little florals, teeny little bit of foil. Then you do get Monday through Sunday and like a seven, you know, days of the week, whatever checklist. And then this is a Monday through Sunday habit tracker, but look how cute this is. It has a little scallop at the bottom. I think that's so fun. Um, this one's just a regular one. And then she's been adding in these icons that are in the colors of the kits. She does now have an add-on as well for um, the icons that match the kit, which is so cool. It's like an entire icon sampler sheet um, that matches, and I love that. Um, and you get some little like layering pieces here. Again, I think these are now removed from the kit if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and then these are all like little um, flags. Let me show you a little flag there. How cute is that with the little like woods? This gives me Harry Potter vibes, this little scene here. Like it reminds me of when they're walking in the woods and like with the whole spider scene. I don't know, maybe it doesn't remind you of that. <laughs> um, okay, and then I did pick up the um, trims page. This one here I got in transparent matte. Um, let me see if I can get this up here. I do love um, how saturated her transparent matte is. It's such a good transparent matte. Um, the color is very, very close to, um, I don't know if I have any, I mean, this one obviously has a different background behind it, but if you look at it, um, I feel like it's pretty close, like if this was on a pink background like this is, to the um, colors of the actual like regular kits. Do I have any in premium? I don't, so I can't like show you with these ones particularly, but I just feel like they're really saturated. Um, and I know she like strives to have that. So um, I did get them on transparent just to change things up a little bit. And then I got the floral deco sheet on transparent matte as well. And I think, is this a full? No, look, this has like, you could totally weave things in and out of here. It's like cut out in the middle. I love that. So, so pretty. So I got two of those. And then, okay, so that's it for Chili Nights. Let me take these out for a second. So that is the Chili Nights kit and some of the add-ons. Um, really excited to use this one. I feel like it's going to flow really well with the other colors that I have for fall because it's got like this pink mauve-y um, kind of like thing going on with it instead of just like the traditional black and orange kind of um, Halloween. So it's like an elegant, classy Halloween. Sophisticated. Um, and then um, Laura did throw this sheet in for me. This was released last week. Um, this girl isn't in there anymore. I think we have a different girl in there now, um, just because that didn't really match like the cozy vibes, but she'd already printed some of these. So she threw this in as an extra for me. Um, so thank you, Laura. I love this. I love this girl with her little like bag and camera. So cute. And this one, she just looks so like cozy. So um, this she does have, she has in a light and a dark skin tone. Um, the dark skin girls are absolutely stunning. She put like little sweaters on them and they're so beautiful. Um, so you can get whatever option you prefer. I may actually pick up the dark skin one, um, as well, cause I just love that. And I would like to put some of those in my spreads as well. So I may pick that up when I go do an order. Um, she had some killer releases today. Today's Friday, not Saturday, um, uh, September 30th. And, um, she released a couple new kits, which are absolutely stunning. I need to go pick those up and, um, 
she has like some really cool add-ons and stuff too. So definitely go check out my newest addiction um, with her new releases. Um, but these, I've already purchased these in the past. I purchased these. These are the Oh Baby or Sweet Baby, I'm sorry. Sweet Baby trims. Um, I picked these up before, but I use these in my um, prayer journal. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so um, I had purchased the Sweet Baby trims to go with a spread that I had done. And then I had some extras. And so when I was playing with this, I had, um, see, I still haven't put my name in here. If you watched that video, you know, I was like struggling with which one to put in. Um, but I had used some of these to decorate in here and I didn't make it through very many. Um, you can see these are the trims. Um, I hadn't made it through very many pages before I was kind of like out of the main pieces in here. Um, so these are like my sermon notes. I'll kind of show you, um, I still need to go through and decorate a lot of these. Um, but then there's a prayer section. And so I just put like something simple here. Um, don't think I got any of my other sections decorated in here. I feel like I did not. Nope. So I think I just got as far as prayer. Um, and so I really want to be able to like maybe put some corner pieces in here or something. Um, and then decorate all the different sections. So, um, where did I put them? Okay, they're there. Um, so I did just purchase two more of these to see if that'll be enough to complete what I wanted to do to kind of keep all of like the title pages um, similar with the type of um, like greenery. I can't even call these florals really. Um, and then, you know, within the pages I'm kind of doing different things. Um, like each different section, I was, um, you know, kind of using like a different color scheme and different washies and stuff. So um, need to keep that up, need to catch up on the weeks that I had missed during, during my husband's like baseball games. Um, but that is why I picked these up. Um, just a little plug. This is, um, from the reformed planner. Um, this is my prayer journal. It's designed to hold an entire year's worth of sermons. And then you have a whole bunch of pages, um, and sections for different kinds of like parts of the prayer wheel. Um, super, super cool. My best friend, um, put this together and I love it. It comes to church with me every week and I use it for my prayer stuff throughout the week. Um, but that is what I bought these for. And when I'm mentioning in all my hauls and my plan with me's, not my plan with me's, but my hauls, I guess, um, that I'm getting some of these journaling kits and I can use it in my prayer journal. This is that prayer journal. Um, and this is, you know, kind of where I want to start using things in here and then also in the pages, um, in here. So, um, a lot of that's personal, so I'm not going to share a lot of that, but I just wanted to share the journal itself and what I'm referencing when I am talking about my prayer journal and what I'm using all this for. So that is everything from my newest addiction for this PR order. I am getting ready to put in a pretty sizable order again, um, with these new releases that just came out. I also still need to order my Thanksgiving kit that I'm getting from her. So, um, definitely check out her, um, new releases, put one of our names in the notes for, um, you know, notes to seller, get a freebie, whichever freebie you like the best. Um, and my code to save 15% is Cassie 15. All right. Last but not least, um, I have my first order from Saucy Stickers Co, which I'm so excited about. Um, I shared this one on my Instagram stories as well, because the day I got it, I was just so over the moon with it that I couldn't help but share. Um, she also had a sale going on then. So I was like, well, let me share it on stories because who knows when I'll get this whole video up. Um, but I had purchased from her, I think one other time I just had purchased like some full boxes of hers that I loved. Um, and they were just like, you know, like a book theme, um, sucker for books. So clearly we've already talked about that with my Sadie stickers order. Um, so sorry, there's my child. They are, they have a friend over and so they're being very loud. Um, I love that they're playing and having fun. So I know I apologize in my videos a lot for my kids and I probably don't need to apologize, right? Because this is real life. And I know when other people have their kids in the background or dogs or whatever, I'm just like, yeah, it's life. Like it feels like if I was at your house, I would be hearing that, right? So hopefully it doesn't bother you in my videos. If it does, I am sorry, but this is my life. So welcome to the, the jungle, the zoo. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. Um, Okay, sorry, I keep getting interrupted by children, but this is what happens in my life as we just talked about. So I'm gonna dive into this kit before I get interrupted again or the power goes out. <laughs> we haven't had any more flickers since those last ones when I was doing my, my newest addiction haul, but I'm not quite sure how long that will last because it has been raining all day and the winds are picking up. And so typically when that happens, we could potentially lose power at some point. So. 
Um, I need to just be prepared for that and probably go charge my phone. So, okay, this is the little like journaling card that you get with your order. It says fear must be faced for growth to take place. And then um, she just puts your name on there and signs it. Super cute, love that. And then these are the freebies. I totally forgot to put my ring on today. I'm having a nice lazy day at home, so that's great, but um, I forgot to put my ring on, so that's not good. Um, okay, so this is the little, like, I think all orders freebie, because I didn't put in for this one at all, but I love this. It's got a cute little, like, this looks like a paper bag to me, and that really matches this kit. So I'm super excited about that, and these little, like, paint swatch things match this kit perfectly. Um, so this is like a nice little freebie that matches the kit I bought. And then I did put Cyan's code into um, the like the discount code and then also in the notes to sellers so I could get her freebie. This looks like an old school library card and is so nostalgic. I love it so much. Um, and I love this little book and it says tell your story. It's just so cute. Um, Cyan is Perceive Grace, I believe that's all that it is, um, on Instagram. And I actually found her because of Saucy Stickers Co. I went to go look at all the PR freebies and um, they're all really beautiful and some of them even probably match this kit. I think Jenny from Jenny and Her Plans might have matched this kit really well, but I really love this book theme and I couldn't resist. So um, I'm sure I will be back for more kits from her and more items. So I will get other freebies, um, but I really loved Cyan's and her page. You guys, if you're not following her, please go give her a follow. It's so beautiful. She just did a flip through of her September like bullet journal thing and I totally want a bullet journal now. Maybe not bullet journal. I think it's like a bullet journal book, but it wasn't like, doesn't look like a bullet journal. I don't know. It's beautiful. Whatever it is, she's amazing. Her aesthetic is beautiful. Um, definitely go check her out. And this is her freebie. If you like this, you can put her name in to get that as well. And then this order. Okay, so I went for a kit. Um, if you've watched my lineup videos, um, I decided to get Autumn Picnic, and so I went to pick that up, and then couldn't leave without this kit. <laughs> so I did not go for this kit. I've seen it. I've loved it. I think it's beautiful, but I did not go for it. Um, but I'm so, so, so glad that I bought this kit. So um, this is Nature's Voice. I'm going to scoot this other one out of the picture for a minute, um, just so we can focus on the beauty of this. But um, this has a Henry David Thoreau quote. I am a sucker for like classic poet quotes. It says, I took a walk into the woods and came out taller than the trees. And it's got a cute little owl. Um, this with the torn paper, I just, oh, everything about this kit is just so, so beautiful. Um, I love like this kind of like tealish blue color. Um, again, I don't feel like it's showing up super true to color here on here, which is really sad, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Just look at how pretty it is here and imagine that it's even prettier in person. Um, this little Polaroid with the little scene that matches this, like kind of reflects that is so cute. And these little bears and the fire and the eagle. I love this eagle so much. Um, I don't know if any of you are into like prophecy or anything like that. On um, the church that I was going to years ago, um, I had a prophecy that somebody spoke over me that had something to do with eagles. And um, it has always stuck with me. And um, it's it was just such a beautiful like depiction of um, how Christ carries us. And um, it talked about how the eagle comes up under um, its young when they're learning how to fly and I just thought that was such a beautiful picture um, and so when I see eagles now I just have like this soft spot for um, that story and just kind of the time of my life that I was going through um, and so eagles just have a really special place in my heart um, and then this adorable little axe and tree trunk um, this says adventure with a little a this is very journaly and I love it um, this picnic scene so so cute I don't know what this is this a compass I think that's supposed to be a compass maybe that's adorable and then the little stamp again very much like a journaling feel wait is this no okay for a second I thought that maybe that was like a like a you know kiss cut or something she has done I think some kits with like the contour cut boxes as well um and I loved this cozy outdoor scene here I'm obsessed okay next page <laughs> we'll move on because I could sit there and talk about those forever um, you do get an extra box here with a lot of space to put a script or whatever you want. Your date covers, um, some page flags, some habit trackers, Monday through Sunday. These fun little swatches here, which are like kiss cut really well, I feel like. Um, love those. Those are great for layering. And then some other fun boxes here. These um, page flags, super cute. I love the torn paper and then the little silver foil at the top. 
and these are so so beautiful again I know I mentioned in the other kit but I would love to like foil just this teeny little bit here um so I may see if I can like if one of these I don't think they're gonna be big enough but something that I can put underneath there that'll be big enough to kind of like do a white space and still have some foil along the edge of that and then this is the boxes page. So lots of good like midi boxes, square kind of fancy boxes. And then um, I think these ones, nope, they look like they're like notched, but they're not. They're just like a regular rectangular box. Um, and then so you've got your quarter and your third and then some half boxes. I do wish that these were whited out. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of having like a full solid color box. So I wish that these were like a little bit more whited out. Um, but it's okay because I pull in like more of these kind anyway, and then I use a lot of my own frames and boxes from other things, so totally okay. And then bottom washi, loved this torn paper with the words. I don't even know what it says, but it's pretty. And then all the little like separate floral elements from these bundles that you see throughout. And then the simple line. I love a good simple line washi paired with um, like a floral bottom. And then these are your headers on the side here. These are all just like regular um you know regular header size they're not scalloped or anything like that they are just rectangular and then you do get a few um you get like two scalloped ones here and then these tiny little ones which are super cute and scalloped how adorable are those i wish you had like a full set of those again i like the little skinny ones and then these are the um add-ons i thought i had three of these i do um so i picked these up i wasn't sure so I know I mentioned this in my IG stories, but um, I wasn't sure how like close contour cut her florals were because I've never purchased from her. So I did get a transparent one as a backup just in case these were like too like white around them, um, like around the edges. But as you can see on these, it's really not. It's really great. She cuts them nice and close, um, which I'm super happy about. You can see there's really not a lot of white around her deco. Oops, I took that right off. Um, so it's it's really good. Um, she got it nice and close, so um, I will be able to use this in my prayer journal because this is the transparent version. I do feel like the colors are, um, you know, pretty different on here in comparison, um, but they might not be. Once you actually put it on paper, it might not be. Um, so I am glad I got two of these because these ones I'm going to use in the actual spread. This I will probably just pull into the journal, um, but I just think these are so cute. Look at their little squirrel and the owl i just i think it's so cute so so cute um fun story i know we've told a lot of stories but fun story my mother actually raised a squirrel um his name was stewart until he realized stewart was a girl and she had babies um she rehabbed this her squirrel that um was like injured or whatever and so she kind of like brought it up and then it decided to have babies in her house <laughs> and so she had to kick the squirrel out um, but she had like, you know, she, she'd supply it with like nuts and stuff and the squirrel would come in and out of the house. Um, she lived in the country and so she could just like, you know, leave her door propped and the squirrel would come in and like hang out with my mom and then go back out and take care of her babies. And, um, this, this reminds me cause this tail isn't like super bushy, but when she had her babies, her tail got really, um, like raggedy looking and I was like, oh, pregnancy is rough even on squirrels. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just fun story. My mom loves animals and wildlife and so when she's living in the country I mean she tried to rehab like little possum babies one time but the mom had gotten hit so she just is always rehabbing something she has such a tender heart and um she had a pet squirrel basically for a while on accident she had a huge like it was taller than me um like cage for it in the house while she was rehabbing it that her um, husband at the time had built for her and so um yeah just really fun story about squirrels so um love the little squirrel in this it just makes me think of her um, okay, so let's go and how the story time is over. Are you guys ever like, wow, this girl tells me way too much stuff? Probably. I tend to overshare, but um, I'm kind of an open book about things. I feel like your story is kind of, you know, it's part of who you are. So um, I hope you get to know me a little bit through my channel here and the things that I share. And I hope you don't think I'm totally crazy. <laughs> um, and it's okay if you do. I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with who I am and where I've been. Um, so this kit right here, switching gears. Um, Autumn Picnic. I just like draw the floor. Love this kit so, so much. When I saw this, um, I was shopping. I don't know how I missed it when she released it. Maybe I saw it, but like I didn't really, I wasn't ready for Autumn yet. Um, 
but when I was doing my video where I was kind of talking about my lineup and like shopping for what I needed and how I organize my kits, um, I saw this one and I was like, yeah, this has to come to my house. So it is even better in person, you guys. I, I just love it. So I loved like the kind of like the lighter, she's got like these lighter, almost pastel kind of tones in the background with these really bold florals. And it's just so, so good. You've got even like a little apple in there and some mushrooms, this little basket with everything. And then the little floral, um, or not, it's foiled, like it's like a leaf. Um, this box is probably my favorite. I love the little like words foil in the book and the little like coffee accent there foiled. This scene with the trees and the A-frame, oh, just beautiful. And it says autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. I love that quote. Um, just so good. These florals. I love this with the little like Polaroids. Look at this is like almost looks, I can't really quite tell, but it almost looks like it's kind of similar to this scene, but without the house maybe. And then this little like fall dress, just stunning. And then the format is the same. Um, I'm not going to like dive into all of it because it is the same as the last one. Same for the boxes, just different colors. Again, I wish these were like whited out more, but it's okay. They're really pretty and they'll be good to like layer other things on top of them. I probably will just use those as layering and use that as like a background because they are beautiful colors. And then this kit also has a beautiful contour cut washi. This is like becoming one of my favorite things. I have an idea um, that I want to do and I'm not going to share it because I want it to be like a surprise when I do it. I will definitely do a plan with me with this um, kit but there is something that I just ordered from a shop that I can't wait to pair with this. Um, and I'm just super freaking excited. I don't know if I'll do it in the top in my date cover area or if I'll do it in the bottom, but I'm really excited about it. So um, I love, love, love these. Again, same format with all your headers here. And then I did the same thing. I got two premium mat and one transparent mat. I think this is the one where the colors seem different, but again, I don't know. Maybe when you put this on something white, maybe it'll show up a little bit like truer to color. I don't know. Um, but there's a decent amount of florals in here. I feel like this will be enough to get me through the kit. Hopefully. Um, I would love a page with like more of just like the bouquets of florals, but there are, there's such a good assortment on here. Um, hopefully two will be enough for me with this kit. I may have to go back and buy one more. Um, love all the deco in this. I think it's so perfect. And these just bold florals. I love bold florals, especially in fall. So this is Saucy Stickers Co. My first like real official order from her shop. Really in love with both of these kits. Um, and then this is the all orders freebie. I don't know if that's changed since I ordered. Um, and this is Cyan's freebie. Um, also, I order this on a Sunday, you guys, like Sunday at like midnight, I think it was. I was in bed and I should have been sleeping and I was ordering kits. Um, I ordered this on a Sunday and I had it by a Saturday, like less than a week shipping. I mean, really, Sunday's not even a business day. She must have got the order Monday, put it right together, and then shipped it out. And I am just in shock at how fast this got here. So if you're somebody who waits till the last minute, do you need a, a kit quick? Um, definitely make sure that you check her shop out because she was so, so fast. Um, I know she just had a big sale, so maybe things are a little bit slower right now. But gosh, if it's slower than a week, I think she's still doing amazing. So um, really, really um, great as far as her fast shipping and the quality of everything is wonderful. So um, really, really happy with my order and um, definitely think you should check her out. All right, so that concludes my haul video. I am going to go ahead and end this haul video here um, with this last little segment that we just went through. Um, anything new that I get, I will put into another haul video because I'm always keeping those coming um, because I can't stop buying stickers. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. Um, I am always just amazed and humbled that anybody would want to come and listen to me ramble about anything, let alone my sticker obsession. So I'm so thankful for this community that I get to share, um, you know, the creativity and love for all things sticker and planner related um, with each and every one of you. So thank you so, so much. Um, please drop me a comment below. Let me know um, your page, your Instagram page. I'd love to come and follow you guys as well and get to know you a little better. Um, if you have not already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy this content and um, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one.